Welcome back. Well, I started the stream and I was streaming for about seven minutes. And then I got a text from my girlfriend and on instant reflex, I opened up Facebook. And I realized that that is a very poor move. So I immediately deleted the stream and we are starting over again. So <clears throat> working on physical linked cubes and I was debating on the wisdom of inherently parenting them to each other. So if I spun one, both would spin. But I decided against it because I think what I'd like to do is um, lock or have each physical cube just have a reference to all of its neighbors. That way, when I spin one in the code, I can parent-child all of them, do a bunch of tests, make sure that the rotate is valid, and then spin them all, unparent them, and life is golden again. I didn't do any scripting. I just did some blabbing, basically. I don't know how much I like this name, Physical Link. Eh, it's better than physically linked. Like, spirit link, physical link, sure, we'll stick with that. And I still haven't changed this. <clears throat> so let's see. <laughs> mm. Where to start? <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to need is a list of all of the neighbors. And this might actually, we might need to do like a pre-begin rotate um, delegate for this, I think. Let's just see what happens. Because I believe that we cannot rely on the order of delegates yeah, we cannot rely on the order of delegates to execute sequentially. But I do know that I'm going to have a physical link array of linked Um, so let's take a look at our cube core. Got our handle begin rotate. What we do is activate and break all paths. We do this, calculate hidden faces, and then move it back. Hmm. I still want all my other cube cores. Um, where, where do we use this? Probably only in one place. Linked rotator. Yeah, this is going to need to be its own special thing, I think. Hmm, this will be quite tricky. So let's break it down into smaller goals. Um, the first goal should be just to spin either cube and have both of them move, right? That's the first goal. So let's add this component to our physical link cubes. Definitely not um, the easiest way to link things, but 
I'm not too worried. So we'll link these to each other. You know what, before I do that, let's make this its own prefab. Special cubes. Yeah, this is the right one. There we go. So we'll delete him and then duplicate. And let's name these A and B. <clears throat> Another thing I've started doing is um, turning on these little widgets, or I guess icons. It makes um, just makes it a lot easier to select the cube instead of you know hitting the camera and then clicking on the cube core. Um, big pain in the butt. So let's link these bad boys together. So A is linked to B, and B is linked to A. I really do think I will need a pre-begin rotate. That seems like a good idea. Link enter. And I guess that lives in the cube rotator. Let's get rid of a lot of this stuff. We don't need a lot of this. There we go. Any path node or selector or controller or mouse controller. So we'll make a new delegate in the rotator called pre-begin rotate. <clears throat> if it's easing, don't do anything. Check if it actually can rotate. Um, Let's do this here. And we'll make sure to note that some cube types require a setup step to begin rotating. Who uses on begin rotate? Probably a couple people. Limited spin cube core does a handle begin rotate. Now, see, I don't even know if we want to. We might want to subtract this. Spirit links, sure. So this is in a wake of our cube core. So maybe in start, pretty sure we'll need a link to this rot a reference to this rotator. And in a wake, we'll get the reference to that component. That's nothing too exciting. Oh, hey, thank you. Or not Visual Studio.
And in start, could I do rotator dot begin on begin rotate minus equals q core dot uh, handle no. That should work, right? So we're saying um, physically linked cubes handle begin rotate much differently than default cubes. That means we're going to need to write our own in here. Go. Oh, and then we don't need a pre rotate because we can do all the work in here. Neato burrito. Who calls this begin rotate? Linked rotator, so spirit link tells them these things to rotate. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we're not going to be calling begin rotate uh, in our physical link. <clears throat> we're just going to be letting the Unity parent child system handle it. So what do we need to do in handle begin rotate? Let's map this out. We need to find all connected cubes. This is going to be sort of a graph search. Um, make them children. And rotate them, right? That seems the simplest. Activate and break all paths, calculate hidden faces. And we need to do this for all of the cubes. We need to do these for all of the hidden cubes. Does this break all of the paths? just of the current face. So this is a core function. Well, first things first, let's find all connected cubes. Um, so we're gonna have a list of, what do we want? I think we want cube cores, right? And we are going to need access to this cube core. <laughs> so we'll do open list dot add. Shouldn't this be a Q? Uh, yeah, maybe let's do a Q. This is append, right? Insert. NQ. So while the open list is not equal to zero,
Oh, we shouldn't do this in handle begin rotate. That's absurd. We should only do this. Let's write a private function called um, find all linked cubes. Oh geez, I'm going to do this without um, looking at my old code. So logically, I start with this thing, I add its two neighbors in, put it on the closed. Um, linked dot length. Let's rename this to link index. And we'll add both of these um, linked at link index dot core. <laughs> and let's have a private list of cube core. Does this need to be a private member variable? Sure, all neighbors. And in awake, we'll need to, I guess we can initialize it here, can't we? Oh. What am I doing here? <clears throat> linked dot length. That's not what I want. Um, cube core current open list dq. And this is going to be current dot linked dot length. Really? Cube core does not contain a definition for linked. Okay, so this shouldn't be cube core. This should be physical link. There's a few changes to make. Not many. I'm not sure if I have to do this for every single cube. You know, I feel like if there was just one system that looked at all of the cubes and was like, hey, these are the things that are linked, we could only do it once. That might be even easier. But honestly, how many of these things are we going to link together? I can't imagine more than four or five. That would just be absurd would make the puzzle really difficult. Oh well, don't optimize. Uh, we'll make a note of this. Note. Be done. 
system instead of by each cube. And this is going to be a physical link. So let's see, we get the top of the queue. We loop through all of its linked neighbors, and we enqueue them. And then we check, oh, open list. I believe that's how it goes. Let's see. I know we need to check to see if the current is in the closed list or the neighbors. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what we do. If current um, all neighbors dot contains current. And I think that's it. So let's debug this and we'll say um, for each physical link, link in all neighbors, print link.gameObject.name. So we should get a physical link cube A, physical link cube B. Nope, we didn't call the function. <laughs> um, if we put this in start, we should actually get it twice because we have two physical linked cubes. Infinite loop. I was afraid of that. Oh boy, I don't remember the last time I... Okay, so nothing's got its name. Our start cube isn't is all the way over here, unnamed. <laughs> cool. But I do have my prefabs. And we'll need to link those up again, and then for the love of job, save. So B is linked to A. You know what? I'm going to put my hierarchy over here, just so I have less dragging to do. So I got these two guys. Uh, we are still going to have to kill this, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just got to be violent, right? Writing code, you say the strangest things. It's like, oh yeah, all you have to do is uh, loop through and kill all the children before you destroy the grandparent. <laughs> it's like, am I in a mafia? So we have one item in here. This is not zero. 
we grab our current, which means our open list should have nothing. Cool. And we will enqueue our current one. This should add gravy. Open list count one, physical link B, that's what I want to see. We grab it. Ah, you know what? I believe that the logic of this is just wrong. I think I want to say if <clears throat> I think I want to move this up into the for loop. Yep, yep, yep. No, I thought I saved. I thought I saved. Oh boy. And I think I was just really excited to test. So we'll say if our neighbors does not contain, that's silly. I only want to enqueue it if it's not in the neighbors. That seems correct. And I don't think we need this anymore. I'm going to debug just because I'm not super confident. And I don't want to have to restart everything again just to begin debugging. Doo -doo -doo, we've got our this. Boom. Current is A. This one's B, B is not in all neighbors, so we add it. This is done, we add A. Now we get B. A is in all neighbors, so we skip it, we add B. Done. A and B twice, cool. Uh, let's do it with one more. Actually, let's get a little bit crazy with it just to make sure that this is right. So A is linked to B and B is linked to A. I'm going to give B two neighbors. And the second one is going to be C. And then C will have two neighbors, B and D. And you know, let's go all the way around. Let's say they're all linked to each other in a full circle. So A and C, A is already there. Then A needs one more linking to C. C 
save. <laughs> oh, still debugging. Awesome. I thought I got caught in an infinite loop there. So we get D out, and that should enqueue two of its neighbors. Cool. Now we got A out. That should enqueue one of its neighbors. Oh, geez. A, B, and C. Oh, maybe not. Hey, feeling good. Hey, nice. Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Six, five, seven, five. What? So A is linked to B and C. Aha! A should be linked to B and D. And that's in runtime, so I lost it. A, B, and D. Don't need to debug this time. Five of each. Now that is a little bit strange to me. So we only have four physically linked objects. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's turn off collapse. DACB. BD. Uh oh. I think I might have goofed this up. A and C. B and D. C should be B and D. That makes sense. B should be A and C. I guess the order I put it in here is going to be the order they come out here. So let's just do a print um, all neighbors dot count. And we'll say uh, game object dot name is linked to this many. Yeah, that's so bizarre. They think it's linked to five. Well, let's see. At least everybody is dumb, right? If everybody is failing in the same way, that makes our life a little bit easier. So there's two Bs, and what is this? Um, this game object dot name. D thinks it's linked to B.
Okay, let's make this a little bit I know I'm doing something really dumb here. It might be this add dot current. Because I was always adding current, ah, even if nothing came through. There we go. Life is good. Now they are linked. OK. So circular links don't cause infinite loops. That makes me happy. Let's turn off. C and D, and we'll just set these links back to one. So now they're linked to each other. Uh, debug, we're happy here. So handle begin rotate, we've got all of our neighbors. And you know, um, We shouldn't be adding this in there, right? <clears throat> because I know who I am. I just want to know who's connected to everybody that I'm connected to. And we're going to need that check here in the case of the circular loop. So we'll make them children, and we're going to rotate. Oh, you know, I think we just have to make them children for now. Later, uh, rotate them to test for, what's the word I'm looking for? Validity. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need a and then we're going to need to say current dot core dot oh, break Oh no. Is it activate and break all paths? That is private. I have no problem making that public. Oof, this is a scary note. <laughs>
So we activate and break all paths, and then we unhide all faces, right? Let's calculate hidden faces, hide inactive faces. No, I don't think that's what we want. We want handle rotate begin. Activate and break all paths. Okay, so this calculate hidden faces is um, for our for when we're done. Oh geez. Oh boy. Sure, why not? Yeah, because calculating the hidden faces, we need to... Oh, we need to parent them first before we can do any of this. Or at least before we can do this. Well, we're already in the loop. Um, current dot transform dot set parent. And that's going to be this transform. And world position stays is true. Is that all? Couldn't be, right? I don't know. Couldn't be. Nope. Yeah, we well, we're not turning off any faces anymore, so that's not surprising. And we're getting some breakage with our... Ah, oh, that's so cool, being able to click on that. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about that right now. <clears throat> So what happens here? They do anything? I am recording this, aren't I? Okay. Boom. Okay. Stopped. That's good. All neighbors zero. What the heck, fire? I never called. I did call in start. What? Oh, hey, yeah, that's a big bug. So let's do a really good print here. Um, One physically linked neighbor. Yeah, buddy. Okay. What? Oh no. Ah, right. Okay. Um, what's cube cores handle rotate complete look like? Who uses that? I guess it's rotator, isn't it? Uh, cube core limited spin. What does cube core do? Here's where we use it. Handle rotate complete. 
Hide inactive faces, validate all face path nodes. We're going to write our own version of this as well, I feel. Handle rotate complete. Does this need to be public? I believe it does. Let's move you to the proper new home. You, sir, are now a star. Everybody can see. Oh, pre begin rotate. Bye. So now we get to unmake them children. Unmake children. I guess unparent. In society, those have two different meanings. But in games, they appear to be quite similar. So the first thing we want to do is um, Hide inactive faces and validate all face path nodes. I bet these are private. Nope. Nope. Cool. Core. Then we can unparent, and that would be current that transform set parent null true <laughs> see this gets a little bit weird right Like, can I, yeah, I can just like walk this anywhere I want. And now he's over here. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, that's pretty neat. But it's really difficult because they're physically linked. I need to like, so if I want a path to go up, here, I need to find, there's one, there's one. So I guess what I do is, nope, that's not what I want. I want to move him up and you this way. Aha, path up created. Huh. That is pretty darn cool. Um, got 10 minutes left. What can we do? What if one of these cubes is blocked? Like, if a whittling is on it, it cannot move, right?
Where do we do that? I think that's in the rotator begin rotate. Check if it can rotate. Oh no. I'm going to have to check all of the cubes. Because if I'm on if I'm rotating cube A but a whittling is on cube B, that should stop all of us from rotating. But this is a function, begin rotate. Is this in a delegate anywhere? No, it is not. Got a can rotate. Hey, okay, okay, cool. Can rotate. That is private. But this is more like an all-around can rotate. But I guess... I think that should be okay. Um, so we need to test validity of all connected cubes, including ourselves. And we'll start this as, well, I guess we'll start this as whatever our rotator Up down here, write an accessor. <laughs> so we'll start this here, and how are we going to get access? There, the rotator is in here, and the rotator does have a public on check can rotate. So it's just going to be a nice little nested loop, right? Um, let's copy pasta this. And then uh, we'll get the physical link current. And we want to loop through all of the currents can rotate. Um, so I believe that is a check can rotate delegate array. <laughs> well, let's just say this current dot rotator dot can uncheck can rotate and we want to get the invocation list and what does this return an array of system delegates right but we want to cast this as an check can rotate delegate this is not going to work is it No, doesn't like this. Oh, this lives in cube rotator. This is going to be a nice line. Nope. Okay, I'll look at how I did it. Okay, okay, so I just did a classic delegate array.
system delegate. Yeah. Fat fingers. So now I want to run checks at check index as a cube rotator can check rotate delegate. And I want to cast that first and then call the function. If that is true, you know what I could do? I could just, I could just always and this with is valid, right? <laughs> and then we will print um, Game object name can rotate. <coughs> no, I have to do if. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh. What do you got here? Get invocation list. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. If current rotator So I guess both of them physically link cube A can rotate. So now, what if I go back to B? No, I, I did select B. Here's A. And I say, you can no longer rotate. Where's B? Oh, B is this one. I turned off A's rotational power. So, boom. Oh boy, that is nice. Okay. Okay. I guess we also need to end it with, um, And I'll keep going until we're at, we've done all the neighbors or we'll say and is valid. So if any point this fails, we can cut out, right? We don't have to check everything, but once it fails, we know we're, we're done checking. Okay, so that was B. No, I always forget which one. This one's B. So I'm going to lock A.
And we already tested this. That looks awesome. How about you? Damn it! Why? Hmm? Cannot rotate. But then why did you rotate? <laughs> <coughs> and I don't see anything about B in here either. Like it says cube A can rotate, and then it says cannot rotate. Oh, I don't think we actually set the... Now this is going to come bite us in the ass, I feel, because eventually we're going to want to change it back to what it used to be. Oh, we can just do that on end, right? No harm, no foul. So rotate this one, turn A off, doesn't work, select this one, dang it, oh, hey, well, I don't know, this isn't a bad place to leave off, um, I've got a lot more done than I expected to, oh, well, let's make sure to save this silly scene, but um, I think tomorrow I might even, well, first things first, we'll fix this bug. Um, and then we might be able to start checking. Wait, I want to try one more thing before we go. Oh, I already have a C here. Turn C on. C should only be linked to B. And we'll link B to C also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. Wait, how am I going to... I'd have to do... If I wanted to walk it, I'd have to select him. <laughs> it's a slow walk, buddy. Boom. We're in. It looks like it even tried to find path connections. That's super exciting. So we'll see how life goes from here on out. I um, hope you all have a very good day.